Hey everyone, I'm Andy Jenks with Henrico County Public Schools and welcome to the second in a series of videos that are designed to help families and students be ready for predominantly virtual learning on the first day of school, which is Tuesday, September 8th. In the first video, we showed you a virtual learning web page with all sorts of tools and platforms that are very helpful and useful as virtual learning gets underway. But how do you use them? What are they for? How do you even get started? We're going to start with PowerSchool. Now, in our first video, PowerSchool was the tool that allows students to get feedback and grades. But for parents, it's actually one of the more important accounts that you can set up, which is why it comes first. Melanie German is from our technology department. She's on the other side of this library here. Melanie, welcome. Thank you very much for being here. And so this video comes in really two parts. The first part, this one, is going to be about setting up your PowerSchool account for the very first time. And that means to me, as a parent, where do I even find PowerSchool? Melanie, take it away. Thank you, Andy. I appreciate you allowing me some time to be here today to help parents get into the portal. It's an extremely valuable resource. and It's going to be the, the entryway into all the different things that are coming in the, in the following videos. So the first thing you want to do is go to the HCPS website. That's in ricoschools.us. Once you're there, you're going to click in the top left corner called Online Services. This is going to bring you to a new page that we have available for you that's going to share with you all of the different resources we have. You want to scroll down to PowerSchool Parent Portal. As a brand new user, you're going to want to click on the link here that says New User Information. Once you're there, it's going to talk about a little bit of what PowerSchool can offer you. It's going to share with you the things that you're going to need to prepare before you create your account. This will be an email address your child's student number, which can be found on a report card if you have it, or if you're a brand new student to Henrico County Public Schools, the registrar at your school should have provided this to you, and if not, you can still contact your school and get that information from them. You also are going to need your child's date of birth and obviously their, their initials for their entire full name. If you have trouble after this video, you can return back to this website and you can find the links here that will show you the specific directions that you can print out if you want to on how to create the account step by step. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the PowerSchool Parent Portal account itself. So we can go to the login screen and this is going to be where you're going to enter all of your information. So the first thing you're going to want to do is click on, click on Create Account. Then on the button that says Create Account, here is going to be where you enter your specific information as the parent. This is not where you put student information. This is all specific to you as the parent. So you're going to put in your first name. Then you're going to put in your last name. And then your email address. Now this email address needs to be the one where you want to receive specific information about your child. So if you do not want that information going to your work email address, please make sure you put your personal email address here. And then a username. Your password goes in this next field. Once you've done that, you're now ready to enter your student's specific information. So you're going to put in their entire name. First name, middle name, last name, all in this one field. The next field, you're going to put in their student number. And for the record, that's my fifth grader who's donating his identity for the greater good. We appreciate that very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> so in this next field, this is where you need to be very, very careful. It gets really tricky when you put this information in, so it's, it's very important that you follow the directions that are listed on this page. And if you ever have any questions, you can give us a call at the help desk or reach out to your school. So the first thing you're going to want to do is put in your students' initials in first, middle, last order. Then you need to enter their birthday information. And this is going to be a, a weird requirement, but you need to do it in year month, day, order. So you're going to put in the year and it'll be all four numbers of the year. So if the year is 2010, you're going to put 2010. And then for the month, if it's January, for example, you're going to need to put 01. And then for the day, if it's the first of the month, you still need to put in two digits. So you would put in 
zero one. And we'll spend an extra moment on that, Melanie, because that's often where folks get hung up. They're putting in the birth date as they know it to be true, but they're missing the zero or the second digit, even if it's nothing, and end up getting stuck in power school. So that's why that point is very important. All four digits for the year, two digits for the month, two digits for the day. Correct. Thank you, Andy. And then the relationship to the student. So this is your relationship to the student. So I will put mother. If you have more students, you can then continue on adding your additional students in the same manner. Once you've completed adding all of your students, you would scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and click enter. All right, so we have entered our parent information. We've uh, entered one or more of our students. And so at this point, we are actually ready to sign into PowerSchool for the very first time. Melanie, what does that look like? All you do is go to the login screen, click your, type in your username and password, and click sign in. Outstanding. So we are now in PowerSchool. We are going to hold it right there. And in the next in our series, we will, we will walk you through all of the interesting, useful, and very helpful things that you can do once you're in the PowerSchool parent portal. Join us then.